Hello athletes and fans of bodybuilding, Tarek El Gindi with the Mr. Olympia. If you are a bikini competitor in 2022 and you want to make it to the Mr. Olympia, the situation is dire. Yes, every Monday when the list comes out on the IFBB Pro League website and you look at those names, it's like looking at the stock market. It's pretty scary. We're talking about Laura Lee Chapados, Issa Piscini, Ashley Kallwasser, Janet Leigh, all of them are doing all these shows. So if you make it, you can go ahead and put it on your Instagram bio, Ultimate Warrior. At the mile high, Issa Piscini beat Ashley Kowatzer in a very tight comp competitive battle where Issa Piscini from the front just had a little bit more of a tiny little waist. And from the back, Ashley looked amazing as always, but Issa was able to close the gap. Now I want you to pay attention to the third place finisher, Liana Gianna Moore. This is the second time that she goes in and battles it out with the best in the business. Pay attention to this competitor. She might make history in the next couple weeks. You just don't go on a first call out consistently against the best and do not make an impact in this business. Moving on to Omaha Pro, we had Chelsea Worcester winning the women's physique. She posed very gracefully. She has an amazing front double biceps and she does a little bit of a flex wheeler pose which makes her aesthetic physique even better. Now, Danielle Willis wins the women's bodybuilding. Great front double biceps. She has big arms, but she's gonna have to be more conditioned if she wants to make an impact at the Mr. Olympia. Moving on to the NorCal. She was the star of the weekend. And I say this because I've seen her before. Chalet Showmaker looked like a statue at the NorCal. It was her best physique ever. The V taper was incredible. The conditioning was perfect. Chalet has battled all these years and her V taper and X frame are perfect. She polished her physique by making her waist smaller. I want you to look at her pictures because what she's done is incredible. Chalet, congratulations. You have really done something amazing with your physique in the last 12 months. Moving on to the wellness in Southern California, Kelly Purcell wins, tall physique, athletic. She has already all the muscle on her legs and glutes, and her physique had the conditioning appropriate for the division. I don't know what is gonna happen at the Mr. Olympia, but I'm telling you, the Canadians are making a move, the Americans are making a move, and the Brazilians might stay behind if some of these competitors show up at the Mr. Olympia. In DC Pro, Ellie Fernandez from Mexico wins again. And like I said, it's been crazy. Ellie has been to the Mr. Olympia many times. And she comes in with her posing, which is one of the best in the IFBB Pro League from the front and from the back. And also, she has the experience to beat some of the young competitors. In second place, Sierra Swan who has just won two pro shows. The bikini division in 2022 is one of the hardest to qualify. Now in the men's physique, we have Brazilian Victor Chavez winning. He has all the muscularity he needs. He's not one of the tallest guys, but he's like a Diogo Montenegro coming back again. What he's gonna have to acquire is muscle maturity. Something that Diogo already has is that separation that comes with years and years of beating that muscle. So keep an eye for this guy. He can be the future of the men's physique division for the Brazilians. Now, in Atlanta, we had Daisha Johnson. Daisha Johnson wins the pro wellness. She is one of the most genetically gifted human beings I have ever judged. And if you look at her waist and ratio with her hips, it's something that you have never seen before. We're talking about flex wheeler type of genetics. Daisha Johnson can be dangerous, dangerous in the Mr. Olympia. But I'm gonna talk about somebody that might be the most dangerous guy on that stage, and that's Stephen Cow. Stephen Cow at the mile high. From the back, this guy is lights out. And I'm telling you, no one wants to stand next to him on a back shot. From the front, he has a tiny little waist, 
and his V taper is one of the best in the business. With a little bit added muscular development on his upper chest, Stephen Cow is the most dangerous man going into the 2022 Mr. Olympia. Guys, the qualification is getting harder and harder. Going to the Mr. Olympia is for the best of the best. I will be there. Wow. <laughs>